Hey, what's up? It's Andrew from TCG Expedition, and today we're going to be opening the Yu-Gi-Oh! 20th Anniversary Pack First Wave from the OCG. Decided to pick this up. It came out in December 2016, I believe, and this and the second wave is going to be basically the uh, Duelist Saga that we got here in the TCG, but I'm pretty sure overall they got better cards than us, cooler cards, epic reprints and stuff. Um, so I'm not going to know every card in this since I don't follow the OCG and TCG that much anymore. I'm really only interested in these old school things. And honestly, these small boxes that Japanese does for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon is just super epic. I mean, I wish, I wish the TCG and like other American card games would do that. It would save so much space in those huge booster boxes where you just get a ton of commons. So um, we're just going to get started here. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a little slit here in the corner because they are a Japanese OCG product. So we're just going to slide on in. I think there's a total of 15 packs here, maybe four or five cards per pack, something like that. So we'll see what spicy pulls we can get out of this. And uh, are in trouble? Let's see. Ooh, wow, that's some cool rarity right there. I don't think anything in TCG has that. So pretty sure this is uh, Morphing Jar. That's an epic hit right off the bat there. We got a Bird Warrior Fusion guy. That's pretty dope looking. We got uh, Royal Decree, I believe, is this one. And on the end, oh my goodness, first pack in, and we got Exodia. Um, I'm going to guess these are all the same rarity, unless uh, maybe they're different. So we'll just, I'm going to set him as a side just because Exodia is, Exodia is a bro. So we'll just slide on into that next pack. And uh, wow, these. I've seen a lot of people talk about the OCG and their rarity differences and they just have more rarities and cooler looking cards and so far I'm liking this. Uh, I think it's just called like parallel rare or something like that and uh, so they have some pretty some pretty sweet shine to them. A little bit of a glossiness to it compared to the, um, I think this is the dandelion. Uh, compared to the to the TCG there's definitely a gloss layer. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera perfectly but pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is, some sort of monster or summoning thing. Uh, we got the we got the Judgment Dragon, and on the end we got Brain Control, I think, or Mind Control, something like that. Pretty pretty slick. We'll set them to the side. I'm not sure what's supposed to be in each pack. Um, I think it talks about the rarities here on the back. There's like three secrets, six ultras, nine supers, and then 32 uh, normal parallel rare, I believe. And there is going to be that one holographic in this first wave, and that of course is going to be your boy Blue Eyes, which honestly is why I bought this. I think I think pulling that would be epic, and to, to see that would be pretty slick. So we got Elemental Hero Prisma. Well, that's pretty spicy. Uh, Dimensional Fissure, I believe, is this one. Dude, I can't get over how cool that looks. I wish I wish some TCG cards had that. Uh, another dandelion here, and on the end we got DD Warrior Lady. Pretty spicy. Um, I'm just gonna keep setting it to the side. I don't know if the the uh, epic one's supposed to be on the end, or if so far we've just got those normal parallel rares at the end. So let's let's keep this train going. I really like these packs as well. Um, all this Japanese stuff. Ooh, Breaker, the Magical Warrior. That's a spicy one. Mirror Force. Too much spice. Okay, I like that. And then we got Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, I believe. That's a pretty spicy pull. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on any of these. I'm not 100% sure what they are. Ooh, that's pretty spicy. Okay, so there's a super. That's definitely a different rarity. I'm not exactly sure what this guy is, but he looks dope. Is this a armed armored dragon or something like that? Uh, one of those higher evolution ones. That's pretty dope looking. So I'll just scoot these back into this pile. Looks like we got a super. Let's keep this train rolling and get some more hollows in here. By the way, the just the normal ones, they, they look dope. So even even only hitting one foil so far, I feel like we've gotten epic rarities all throughout. And this this pack this pack is starting off great. We got the uh, Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End, I believe. That's pretty dope. Gosh, that shine is, is epic. We got Skill Drain. We got a Cyberstein Epic. I still want to pick this guy up in the TCG. Haven't yet picked him up. That's an awesome looking dude. I can't get over it. It just looks so cool. And then on the end, we got you a boy, uh, the Darkness guy. I honestly can't tell if this is, is this an Ultra or not? I don't know. The just shine is too cool on them. Or uh, super, sorry. The shine is just so dope on them. We're going to set him aside. I think that's uh, Cassius or something like that. The Dark Elemental War. I don't even know. I have no clue. Some of these newer ones, like I'm saying, if it's if it's past like 2006, uh, could be completely off on what I'm calling these. I'm pretty sure this is uh, Neos or Honest or something. I don't know. We're going to set him aside. Looks cool. We got the lightning beam coming out the ground. That's a cool looking card. Ooh, another dragon, dude. We'll take. We'll take. Ooh, a cyber dragon. 
Definitely gonna take that. Spicy little dude right there. This box, it's so small, but it has like a crazy amount of packs in it. Um, is this uh, Elemental Hero Stratos, I believe? Something like that. Uh, maybe Mizuki here. We got a Genzo. Check that bad boy out. That's pretty epic. Ooh, there's an Ultra Rare. There we go. That is just epic looking. I think this is a Chaos Scepter Blast. Ultra Rare. Wow, dude, there's just so much going on with these type of cards. Oh my goodness. Can the TCG, can they step up their game with, like, this type of product? No, I know the Duelist Saga was pretty epic, uh, and we had kind of like a parallel rare, but definitely not this epic on just those normal cards printed, so. Oh my goodness, I want to bend any of these cards. So we got another Dimensional Fissure. We got another Dark Elemental guy. Ooh, undead looking Dragon Dinosaur guy. That's pretty dope looking. Ooh, buddy, is that a secret? We just hit a secret rare. That's pretty dope. Um, I forgot completely what this card's called. I think this is like something to do with uh, being an awesome duelist, ultimate magician. I have no idea, honestly. So, but dude, that is just sparkly epic. There's shine going this way, that way. I like it. I like it a lot. We're gonna set that bad boy up top because he's just that's a spicy pull. Let's keep let's keep these foils going. I'm, I'm liking this. The ex okay, so the regular ones look dope, and then you have like foil cards on top of that with like extra extra stuff going on. So. Ooh, this pack looks good too. Okay, so the pull tabs I like, but at the same time, it's like they, they sometimes work, they sometimes don't. We got another uh, Chaos Envoy of the End Dragon Dude. Forget his name. Ooh, uh, Sukuyami or whatever his name is. That's pretty spicy. As I butcher every name in this, you guys are probably uh, cringing a little bit. Roll Decree. And on the end, ooh, buddy, another Ultra. That's pretty epic. Um, I'm going to guess this one's... Future future fusion or something. I honestly have no idea. I've seen the card before in the Duelist Saga, but not sure what the name is. Dang, these cards look freaking epic. 20th anniversary pack, guys. Came out a while ago. But uh, I just I just stumbled upon it and was like, dude, epic reprints. I honestly might pick up the second one, the second wave that came out. I believe that came out in early 2017 and had some more spicy, spicy pulls in it, so. Another one of these guys definitely will take. Another Morphing Jar, yeah. I'll take all these regular ones. Mirror Force, we'll take it all day. And of course, you got that Elementary Hero Stratos, or whatever his name is. So, yep, yep, yep. Spice all over the place. All right, let's see if we can pull this one. Yep, there we go. All the way down. So guys, if you have opened any OCG, TCG type Yu-Gi-Oh product before with this uh, this epic foiling, just let me know in the comments if you've opened maybe this set or even like I've seen the rarity collection is pretty popular uh, and apparently really expensive, has some crazy cards. Like I said, I don't keep up with everything. Ooh, that's pretty cool looking. It's like a little uh, pool of swirly blackness, super rare right there. Like I said, I don't uh, keep up with Yu-Gi-Oh that much, so uh, all the new cards that are worth a lot of money and see a lot of play, I'm not really, don't really care about those. It's the old stuff that is uh, most likely garbage cards nowadays, or banned or something. That's what I care about, like Jinzo. Can't go wrong with a good old, good old Jinzo. Classic card right there. But yeah, let me know if you guys have opened products like this. Ooh, a Monster Reborn, that's pretty spicy. And uh, what your thoughts are on these OCG products. And if you guys wanna see more of this type of stuff, let me know in the comments, leave a like on the video, and I can try and order some more of this spicy stuff from overseas and open it. Um, definitely with the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, I prefer the, as I mentioned multiple times now, if it's any kind of reprint or old school product, I'll open new stuff I don't really care uh, too much about. We got the, we got Breaker. First, uh, first of this guy, some sort of undead Knight Rider guy. We got one more of the monster coming through a, a gateway and a dino dragon look, I don't know. I honestly have no idea what this is. So, does something. Must must do something pretty cool to get a solid looking reprint in a set like this. All right guys, last two packs here. Full tab, yes and no. I like it. It's not working, wonders. All right, don't wanna bend you. Come on, blue eyes in one of these last packs. Let's see if we can do it. We got another Mizuki. We got a Magician of Faith. That's spicy. All right. We got a, a Canyon Sunlight dude. And we got a Neo Spatian Grand Mole. That's, that's nothing good. We don't like that. <laughs> All right, guys. 
Last pack here. Can we hit that epic blue eyes for the close? My pull tab skills are, uh, are pretty minimal. Let's keep it going. Honestly, I might pick up another one of these. These are pretty epic. Like, I, I, I really am liking this a lot better than the um, TCG type products. Like, the Dual Saga looked cool, but it was honestly a lot of fluff and nothing really crazy like this with their parallel looking. Like, look at these shines. So we got Judgment Dragon here. We got another bird fusion guy. It's pretty crazy. All right, and we got Royal Decree. And on the end of the last pack, we got another Exodia. I'll take because who does not like hitting ya boy? in these packs. All right guys, two ultras, two uh, supers, and of course a secret rare. That's pretty awesome for one box. I'm gonna guess that's about average with 15 packs, four cards in a pack. That was fun. Honestly, yeah, I might, I might pick up another one of these because it was just, like the foiling is great. I love it. And of course, a lot of this stuff is gonna be old school reprints like your boy Exodia. Thank you so much for watching again, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, a like would help out a ton. I will catch you guys in the next one. Whoop, whoop.